Hey guys. Welcome back to Plots with a Twist. Where we discuss books. Amongst other things. And today we're doing our wrap up and yes. our TBR. Yes. Gonna get into what we read for May. Dang, it's June already. I know. This May is and what we'll be reading for June. So let's get into it. Okay, how many books you read? I read three. Are uh, you happy? Me. You proud? Um, I mean, this is a normal thing for me, so it's whatever. How many books do you read? First of all, it's not a normal move thing. On, Don't move mind. on. How many um, books did you read? Let's see. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. Four. That's good for you. I was supposed to get five in, <laughs> but it didn't work out. But three. That's it. I'm all right. Well, you, I'll start, I guess. Yeah, you start since you have So I read. The first book I read was This Close to Okay by Lisa Cross Smith. So I started that in March, but I didn't get far enough to really consider that as a read. Mm -hmm. um, got it back and then just picked up where I left off pretty much, which was majority of the book. So This Close to Okay is about this woman. I can't remember her name. Me neither. I read like the first it's couple okay. chapters. It's not important. And they say they name like every other chapter. Right. I, I know remember. Emmett. Oh, uh, I don't remember that. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, Tallulah? Lula Lee. Don't look it up. It's okay. So this woman, she uh, is a therapist. She pretty much um, is very big on like helping people through situations. And one day on her way home, she sees a guy that's about to jump off a bridge. And pretty much she uh, intervenes, tries to stop him, and basically enters Emmett, or the guy, into her life. And they come together. Mm -hmm. Tally, I said, I was mm -hmm. close to Lula. Not to Lula. <laughs> uh, so they come together and basically, it. I don't know what vibe I want to give it. It's like a... It's not one long conversation, but it's like one of those books where like just two people come together, unpack and unload a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And in that they build, you know, this experience and this journey that's going to sit with them forever. So it's mm -hmm. just basically about these two people. She, he was on the verge of like committing trigger warning, committing suicide. And um and pretty much she found him and how they kind of helped their way, helped each other through whatever situations that they both were facing. Mm -hmm. So I will say, let me write, see what I wrote. I said, good writing. Like how she gave peeks into their past so you could better understand them. Mm -hmm. um, I thought the story was not really plausible, but I don't think that was the point. Like if I was driving by and I saw somebody about to jump, would I stop? Mm -hmm. I like to say I would, but in real life, I'd be like, oh my God, what they doing? Right. So I don't know, but um, so I would say that kind of took takes a moment to get over. Um, like she really about to invite this man into her life, like really invite him like into her home, and really just kind of you know take an unorthodox approach to therapizing. How do you say it? Therapizing therapy towards <laughs> him. Um, it just seemed that part kind of was um like not plausible to me, but overall, it was one of those books that you kind of I don't know if I understood the point because it was kind of like one of those books where it's like two people go through something and they come out better and stronger or closer, mm -hmm. but it wasn't enough build up to make like pull me into like really be connected to either character but i will say overall it was a good book a good solid read but it wasn't the most exciting that's that's what i'm looking for it wasn't really a exciting read mm -hmm. it's one of those like i feel like a woody allen film where it's <laughs> like really he's problematic yeah he is <laughs> but i can't think of like what director like a film it's mm -hmm. like a film but it it's does like, read like a like, I just yeah like a movie. it's like that like what's the one with denzel washington's son like it's like one long ongoing thing um marie and malcolm yeah malcolm but I, I didn't watch i didn't that. watch it either. so but I, I get that kind of vibe where it's like it's not meant to be this super explosive or super drawn out thing. It's meant to be circled on this one situation mm -hmm. and just how these two people kind of come from that situation. So I'll say it's not an exciting read, but it's a pretty solid read. So what'd you yeah. give it? I gave it a three. Okay. 
Okay. But it was a firm three. Not it was firm like three. Not uh, a shaky three. <laughs> no, it wasn't a shaky three. Um, probably three point two five. Like a little bit above a three point two five. Yeah. I'm good. Okay, so what I read this month um is Dominicana by Angie Cruz. And this is a book that I had put on my list. I forgot where I saw it, but I definitely saw it like on social media somewhere. I wanna say I saw it on like Reese's book club, but that might be wrong. But I, I saw it somewhere like I'm gonna say years ago, probably like some months ago, probably either is it a newer book? Um if you scroll. Nineteen. Oh, it came on twenty nineteen. So I feel like I saw it like some floating around like uh last year, like late last mm -hmm. year, early this year, and it had been on my um wait list for like a long time and it finally came available on um Libby. So I got to listen to it. And so Dominicana is basically a book about Anna, this girl, young girl named Anna. And Don't it be reading place. it. Take no, it, take it from the mind. I know. The top but of I the just, I'm trying to see like what. Okay, so it's like <laughs> in the um. I was gonna say 1950s, but it's not. It's like in the 1960s. Um, basically, Anna is a girl from the Dominican Republic. It, the book starts out with her living there with her family, and she always dreams of going coming to America. And she finally has the opportunity um, when this man um wants to marry her mind you she's 15 years old so um the man wants to marry her and she this is not how she plans she wants to get an education you know she has her own like dreams and goals that she wants to accomplish but she realizes like to help her family and to better herself like this is what she has she feels like she has to they her family's given her no choice but to say yes um to go ahead and say yes to this man marry him so that they can you know all start you know kind of benefit from her coming to america first and um the plan is to bring her family there with her but once she gets there she's married this man y'all um of course they forge her papers uh making her seem like she's older than she is so she can be like legal in america and it's basically not what it's all cracked up to be um she starts going through uh there's some like abuse that she's gone through and like different things that she certain expectations that she had once she got to america and they're going they're living in new york city shout out to them um yeah okay <laughs> you ran into them in, yeah um so they're living in new york city at oh, the well, time the 50s, um right in 1960s that this is actually like when my mom was born like this is when this or takes 60s. place yeah, 60s, 60s. <laughs> yeah so um and it's at, also around that time like the civil rights movement and everything is starting up so like they reference like malcolm x um being killed during this time and like how that affects the community because she's living in harlem at the time so it's oh. affecting the community around them and stuff so it's just um it's really interesting i really enjoyed the book um and you get to see anna it's kind of like sad and you kind of like want to see like what happens like with her life and see like how she kind of maneuvers the situation and then she comes out of it um i really enjoyed it i think it's a good read i gave it five stars did i Ooh. i know right i think i gave it five stars yep i gave Look it five stars you. because it was really good like first it starts off not i don't want to say predictable but like you know like kind of like a lot how a lot of um immigrant stories um mm -hmm. start off just how they come to america but you are really the writer is good at making you feel really invested into this girl and seeing like what's gonna happen and how she gets uh through certain things and you want certain you want her to like make certain choices but you're right. interested to see like what what is she gonna do and how what's the outcome gonna be so i was really interested i couldn't wait to finish it like it was one of those that i was like oh i gotta see like what's gonna happen like what she what is she gonna do like how she gonna get through this so yeah i would definitely uh recommend dominicana if you guys haven't read it already so by angie cruz chris is supposed to be reading it but you know whatever i'm gonna read it <laughs> i got it so i'm gonna read it all right so. all right so the next book we read or i read or we read or you started and i finish okay i didn't finish it but okay <laughs> so, and that is house oh i thought i knew how to say it house of rougeau rougeau by jenny jackal jackal mm -hmm. Get it to <laughs> I thought I knew how to say it. Um, so yeah, we were gifted her book. Um, shout out, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so uh I I read what it was about. I said that previously, I read what it was about, but wasn't really solid on the synopsis, so didn't want to give too much details. But now that I've read it, mm -hmm. yes. So it's a family saga, it's a generational family saga. So on a, I want to say kind of, I wouldn't compare the two, but kind of, if you think of, if you've read Home Going by Yagiasi, Yagiasi, you know, mm -hmm. I mess up her name, um, how it kind of goes into each 
like the lineage of this these two sisters or half sisters um and tell their stories it's kind of similar to that in that uh it goes through the lineage of the rougeau family um starting with the two siblings um during slavery in the early 1800s um and they have the two siblings have are touched by spirits or something like that they have these kind of odd abilities that aren't really like super like it's not a it's a touch of magical realism it's more so kind of like spiritual abilities versus it being like oh she can shoot fire like one sibling she is um gifted a gifted healer and the other sibling he's really gifted with animals so it's like really kind of like more so standard I guess regular kind of abilities versus something like super out of the box but um it goes into their their kind of family and just how um during slavery uh times the two siblings kind of their abilities came into play at certain aspects and kind of saved them from certain situations and just um how one of the the oldest the male sibling he had a daughter but they had to give her to another family they kind of found her and then her family and how her kids go along so it goes into that whole family and just really i said that enough it goes into the whole family mm -hmm. so um i will say i really enjoyed the writing i thought she did a good job of like capturing each each person's essence and like their connection and just really draw you in a, a, to the story to care about each person. The only kind of critique I really had was the lineage, like the progression through the lineage of the family members isn't chronological. So it'll go from these two siblings to this great, great grandchild. And then it goes to her great uncle. And then it goes like, it's something like that where it just bounces around between the, these family members. And so for that, it, some people you got more time with because they were part of some of these other people's stories. Whereas this great granddaughter, great, 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 great granddaughter, you only hear about her one time. So you don't get a chance to like really connect and sit with her. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of brought you out of the story for moments where you just wanted to like, oh, understand the progression of this family and why they were so, um, or how they dealt with their circumstances. Um, it pulls you out of that. But other other than that, I thought it was a good read, a, a good solid read. Um, we posted a little mini um, review on Instagram. So check that out as well. Mm -hmm. But we look forward to reading her. She has another book called Boy Falling that she's also um, sent us. So we look forward to reading that as well. So, yeah. The next book that I read was um, China Rich Girlfriend by Kevin mm. Kwan. Um the crazy, the second book in the Crazy Rich Asians uh, series. So you finished Excuse it up. Me. No, it's three. It's one more book. I'm oh, saying last book. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, finished the book. Um, it was good. I enjoyed it. I think I gave it like three stars or four. I might have gave it four stars, but it was really good. So basically, it follows um Rachel. Chu, I think she was her last name, and Nicholas Young. You know the couple from the first story. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know. Seen the movie? No, so I didn't read the first book, but I saw the movie, and I I just I didn't want to go back and read because I feel like I know like what happened. So yeah, it follows Nicholas and Rachel, and basically um following them about to get married and they actually go ahead that's not spoiler they actually go ahead and get married in this series and um i mean in this book and um yeah so they're back in china they travel to so many different places so i'm like basically it follows <laughs> rachel and like her search for her biological father and how um nick's um, family is kind of connected to that and um in that search and her making um this friend who turns out to be not said. her friend. Well, okay. And yeah, it's just a lot of scandalous, a lot of lavish spending going on. As you can see from like the first movie, it's more of that. And um, yeah, it was just a good, it was a good book, good read. It's given, um, I want to say like almost like sex in this, uh, more amped up sex in the city, like with Asian stuff. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the movie. So I knew I was going to like the book. And the book was like, it was fun. I listened to it. So even though I have a physical book, I listened to it. So it was good. It was nice to listen to. All Not right. too much to say about that one. I'll let you say the one we read together. So the last book I read that she didn't read. Um, 
and I'm not quite finished, but I'm almost finished. So I'm just gonna mention it because I don't. I, I'm tired of talking about this book, <laughs> so I'm just gonna mention it now. Get it out the way. Maybe I'll mention it a few times down the line if we have some lists we put together. But yeah, I'm done with this book. And that I got this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is, I finally read it, y'all. Broken Harbor by Tana Tana. Tana Tana. It's know, Tana. French. That's how we gonna say it, Tana, because we American. Um, Lord, finally got to it, got through it. And boy, am I glad I did because it just reminded me why I'm a fan of her writing, why I'm a fan of her books. Like she does an excellent job of just giving you details, 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 mm -hmm. immersion. You feel like you're immersion. really part of the experience. You realize, you feel like you're a detective on this murder squad. So yeah, I missed that. I need to finish that. Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's like a, a great lengthy episode of Law and, of Law and Order. Like right. so good. So okay. Boom. So it's about, so Broken Harbor is the fourth installment of the Dublin Murder series. And of course, um, as we said before, the Dublin Murder series isn't technically a series. It's just, you know, a collection of books that mm -hmm. operate in the same like precinct or or universe mm -hmm. kind of sort of. It has the same, some of the yeah. same characters, but not always. Yeah, some of the characters overlap, things like that. So, um, and some of the like previous crimes or previous interactions come up in like later books but not like in a major way where you need to go along like you could literally pick up broken harbor now and not have, yeah, to, read. Not have to read the other one yeah so but you should though. you should um so it follows one of the the uh bureaus i don't know what they call it there but one of the squad's top uh solver uh kennedy mickey kennedy he's or nicknamed scorcher I was gonna say, so, mm -hmm. <laughs> so he um is like this well to do put together guy always gets it right puts a lot of effort into everything and um takes great pride in that so uh he was pulled off of the big cases because he had a, a case that went wrong i think it's probably the one from faithful place but mm -hmm. it didn't go into detail of which case it was that kind of took him off his um hot streak but pretty much he's finally handed a big case again of this family that was pretty much murdered so mm. oh my god and that's that, that that was the tough part to get through for me because it's mm. like two young kids, a husband, and a wife survived. So, mm. Um, mm. but she's all jacked up too. So really trying to, he's putting in all his effort. He's also uh, mentoring and working with this rookie. So he's working with this rookie as a partner, and they're just basically going in the ins and outs of trying to solve this crime. And um, as n nice and tidy as he likes things he thinks that's where the crime is headed when he's doing his research uh thinks he's found his guy but he realizes as well as his partner realizes there's more to the crime than what's presented and mm -hmm. uh with her books that go into all that there's usually some fa family melodrama going there so he has some issues with his younger sister mm -hmm. um that comes into play that, that really impacts his work as well so it's just a lot of things that she likes to put into her her stories that really give you a complete picture of everything that's going on. That's why I said it's so immersive. It's like I'm walking down the street with these guys. Like no, I'm the third partner. Like mm -hmm. that's how you really feel. So I really enjoy her writing. Really enjoy her books. They are detailed dense. They are just yeah, that's why wordy, so <laughs> but they're really really good. Mm -hmm. It's not like there's. I mean, you can argue whether some things are unnecessary, but I feel like it enhances your mm -hmm. overall reading experience with her books in particular. Some books, yeah, it could drag, but mm -hmm. her books, it's moments, but they're not like really like, girl, you really the other didn't parts need that. make yeah. it more like that. It just so it, 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 it makes it more robust. Mm -hmm. So I really enjoy her book, and I, I really enjoy it, Broken Harbor. I'm looking forward to trying to finish out the series and get into her kind of standalone books as well. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to do the searcher, but I thought it was an audiobook. It was an ebook, and I wasn't about to do that. <laughs> I started The Witch on, um, but I got to finish that one too. Uh, so, the last book that I read for this month is a book that me and Kristen read together, and we also did a review on that I think is posted already, right? Yeah. Um, yes, so you guys should check that out if you haven't already. And that's The Midnight Library by Matt, Matthew Haig. Matt, Matt Haig. I want to call him Matthew. Matt Haig and Midnight Library was basically about this woman who is 
basically unset not satisfied with her life um and she just what is it about Kristen? <laughs> she decides she to have, yeah try to end it but right. she goes she into limbo which for her is the, midnight, the midnight library. library because that's like i guess that was her happy place when she was like a child was the librarian at her school's library so basically in the midnight library you get to choose different books that are different different uh lives basically that she can uh go and live um different versions yeah of... different versions of herself of her life so and one like she can like be a rock star or she can be a research uh something Lord. i know a research <laughs> somebody and like yeah so it was good i gave it four stars i gave it you initially three, had stars. three yeah initially i had three four. and i had four because i felt like um not that it was predictable but i i, I initially felt like i wanted her to get more out of the experiences she was going through like um the different lives that she was choosing to live like i wanted her to learn the lesson a little more like more depth. yeah but uh i realized like it was it was okay it ended okay and the um even though the ending was more like i'm not gonna say too much because i want to spoil it for you guys but it could have gave me a little more and that's why i feel like i gave it three stars in the beginning but I, it was a good book and overall um i did like the overall message and the mm -hmm. overall like theme of the book so we love anything with parallel universes and because i believe in stuff like that in real life so that's what it yep. was given and if you want to hear more of our thoughts on that go check out our book review on it on our channel all right so and that's, that's it that's all, all we read for may so now let's get into what we're reading for june you got a list yes yeah, on my um stuff so okay so you go on so for June, I'm going to read <laughs> Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Kristen already read it, but I definitely, um, I, it just came available to me because it was on the wait list forever, forever. So um, that is basically like um, the background story of the girl and the hate you give her dad's life, right? Mm -hmm. So and how he like came to like how, what you call it? Just his, his upbringing. Life. Yeah, his, his upbringing life. and then like how he dealt with like being a teen father and all that stuff and how he had, what's, what's her name? What's her name? Star. Star? Oh, look at me. <laughs> I remember. So yeah, so that is on my, that's first on my list because it's available to me now. All right. So it's Pride Month for June. So definitely wanted to incorporate some LGBTQ um, themed books. And so one of the books I'm going to read is The House on Cerulean Sea. I have about? no idea what it's about. Oh, I it looked like it had a little touch of fantasy, magical realism. I saw those LGBTQ themed and it was on the top rated books for this year so far. So I said, hey, I have an audible credit. Let me just use it on this. So did it. Got it. Gonna listen to it. Okay. What you gonna do? Okay, so the next book I want to read is Life After Death by Sister Soldier. So it's basically like... I Girl, you are not getting that no time soon. But I, I was going to say that I think I'm going to... I might though, because sometimes when it says like... It's Girl. Like eight weeks out, I'm going to get it. But I think I might purchase it. That's what oh, I was okay. going to say. I think I might go ahead and just purchase it because it's one of those things like sister soldier like coldest winter ever everybody read except for kristen everybody read coldest winter ever like back in the day like that was the book that all the girls read if he was from you know wherever so <laughs> <laughs> like and it was a good book it's a, where you gotta be from just you know a certain <laughs> demographic but no it was actually like a really really good book i remember reading that book when i was trying to just and just being like oh my god like are we gonna do this type of stuff so and yeah, um, I want to say world. this is the prequel or the sequel to it. It's a sequel, okay. So it's a sequel to um, Coldest Winter Ever. So yes, I'm gonna go. I'm if it doesn't come to me in the next like week or so, which is probably not, I'm gonna go buy it because I heard it's it was not that good. Yeah. Oh, but boom. I'll let you get your own opinion. Yeah, you hated on it. I did not. I said I heard. Where 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 did these words come from? Me. I okay. Anywho, next. Boom. So another book I will be reading this month is Dominicana. Isn't that what it's called? Mm -hmm. By Angie Cruz. Yes. Yeah, so I she told me she forced me to go ahead and check it out. It was no hold with my library. I don't know mm -hmm. what she's talking about. Mine was no hold. Unless I got the wrong version. Hold. Right, I was on hold for like a long time, like a long time ago. That'll so. happen. I get the wrong version, so I you plan to read that ebook if you got it. So 
I'm not reading an ebook <laughs> if I got the ebook. I made sure I get audiobooks and I don't know how an ebook crept in there. But yeah, I think I got the uh, audiobook. So I will be listening to that. Let us know if you guys will want a review on that. I know it's a little bit, I know everybody wants to like hot new stuff. I know it's a little bit older now, mm -hmm. but we can still do it. So just let us know. But yeah, I'll be, that's on my list as well. So what else you got? So if I don't get a Tana French in, I know you're tired of us talking about her. I'm gonna either try to finish The Witch Elm or Broken Harbor. But if I don't, I'm gonna read something that I was supposed to read a long time ago and that Kristen gave me the book to and it's in my room. It's They Both Die at the End. Oh, <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna try to finish that. I mean, well, start that and read it because she really? said it was all the rage. I didn't say it was all the rage, things. but it was a good touching book. Right, I thought it was really right. good. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm going to try to go pride ahead. Month read. Exactly. So I was like, that this would be a good month. And I still have, I look at it all the time. I'm like, I need to read this book. <laughs> all right. So another uh, pride or LGBTQ themed uh, book I'm going to read is Aristotle and Dante discovers the secrets of the universe. Don't know the author. Oh, I haven't said the author to the other one either. I was going to say, I feel like I heard it back. Yeah, I oh, saw, I I've seen that <laughs> everywhere for years mm -hmm. since it's come out. And I've always been intrigued. I've been one of I'm one of those people who if you have a good cover, I'm I'm probably going to likely check it out. Mm -hmm. At least turn it over to read the synopsis. So that one, the cover was very intriguing. I kept hearing positive things about it. And then I of course saw that it was on the list of top like reads to read for Pride Month. So um I finally got it. Um I found it at Goodwill and I was like, yeah. So I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and check that out this month. So fingers crossed that I get that finished. But yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Okay. Anything else you got? No, that's all I'm doing. Cause that might be four, but probably it's gonna be three, y'all. Okay, so the other book I'm going to uh, try to read, so just we can make sure we're staying up to date with our gifted books, is right. Boy Fallen by Jenny Jekyll. Yes, yeah, so if I, I read anything her. else, it's going to be there. So, yes, she gave us another um, book, so we're going to go ahead and check that out. So, that'll be it. So, for me, that's four. So, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I might even get in five. Look at you. Since I got all these, I, I got off days this month, y'all. Oh, well. Must it was nice. only because I was about to max out of my PTO. Mm -hmm. and yeah, my, she said, girl, take some time off. And I right. said, you know what? I deserve. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know what you guys are reading. Let us yes. know any thoughts on any of the books we've mentioned here today. Uh, let us know any other books we should be checking out. Yes, is there anything new? Because I haven't been... I don't know. I used to see books pop up on my feet all the time, but now my feet because you haven't been looking, feet. you haven't been putting the algorithm to. No, my to, algorithm is on nails and nail art and stuff right now, so like I don't get like book info. So mm -hmm. anything like that's new and up and coming, I'm just gonna check Reese's uh, book club. That's how I get my new stuff. Yeah, and see like what's going on. But please feel free to let us know. Like what's on good reads, they tell us too. My app don't tell me nothing. You don't look. I do. Anyway, <laughs> like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.